Hey, what's up guys, Patrick, and welcome to the guide. There are no items required for this quest. To start, go to the building in Remington that says you're here on this map. Talk to Lucille and select the options I have written for you on screen when you get them. A little bit into the conversation, you'll get a prompt to accept the quest, so go ahead and do that, then finish the conversation. Then drink the potion that she gives you. You'll end up in some kind of dream world. Walk outside, go northeast until you see a cave, then go inside. Once you're inside, walk across the bridge and to the end of this room. Talk to the raptor, and when you get to set chat options, you can pick whichever one you want. After that, enter the door and proceed to the next room. Go north to get to the next room. Now go west. Then go south. And finally go east. This next room should be pretty obvious because it's a straightforward path. As soon as you enter the next room, you'll get a cutscene. After the cutscene, go to the northwest corner of the room and a symbol should appear on the floor. Then go to the northeast corner and another symbol will appear. Go to the southeast corner, then go through the doorway. Uh, there is another entrance next to it, so make sure you go through the right one. You'll know if it's the wrong one because it'll ask you if you're sure you want to exit or something like that. In this room, go north along the west wall until you reach the northwest corner to discover two symbols. Then walk along the east wall to discover the third symbol. The doorway to get to the next room is in the southwest corner. This room should be obvious because it's a straightforward path. When you enter this room, you get a cutscene. Pick up the sapling in the middle of the room. Put it in the pot to the southwest, 
then go through the door to the northeast. Go to the middle of the room again and take the sapling from the pot. Put it in the pot to the northwest. And go through the door to the southwest. Go to the middle again to take the sapling from the pot. Then put in the pot to the southeast. And go through a door to the west. Alright, for the last time, go to the middle and take the sapling from the pot. Then put in the pot to the northeast. And finally go through a door to the east. Go straight north and go through the next doorway. When you enter this room, you get another cutscene. Once that's over, jump the chasm and you'll get another cutscene, but you can skip this one. You'll now be inside the stomach of the Queen Black Dragon. This place consists of four rooms, and getting through them should be obvious considering there's only two doorways and they're both marked on your minimap. You see that green stuff on the floor though? That's uh, stomach acid. If you walk over it, it will damage you, but it's very minimal. I'm talking single digit minimal. So if you want to walk over it, you can. I mean, it is faster. Before I started the quest, I thought it would deal a lot more damage, which is why I have food. But now that I know the food wasn't necessary, that's why I didn't tell you to bring any. But yeah, you could simply just walk through it. When you get to fourth room, you get a cutscene and a conversation. I don't think it matters what options you pick, but in case it does, I have the ones I picked written for you on screen. Eventually, the raptor will show up and start talking. Once again, I don't think it matters, but in case it does, I have the options I picked written for you on screen. Yet again, you'll watch another cutscene, but you can skip part of it. When the cutscene is over, you'll start a conversation with the raptor, but you don't actually have to talk to him. You can click off the conversation and go back to Lucille and Remington. Talk to Lucille, and that will be the end of the quest. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys later. Peace.